Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you guys my Shadow Paladin Stride Aura Geyser deck for July 2015. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's more of a defensive playing style, Shadow Paladin, at the moment. Uh, but basically it revolves around using Claret Sword, your uh, Grade 3 Stride, um, Break Stride card, with the, all your different Shadow Paladin Strides to get a lot of draw power and call power off. So let's go ahead and get through the deck profile. Um, the deck is likely to get more offensive when set 4 is released, but for now, like I said, it's more of a hand-based, you know, defensive style deck where you just stall out your opponent until you get your plays off. But yeah, for Stride Zone, I run 4 Supremacy Black Dragon or a Geyser Dragon. Um, his skill is basically you counter blast one, soul blast one, choose a face down card named Supremacy Black or Geyser Dragon from your G zone, turn it face up if two of your and retire two of your rear guards. Uh, when he attacks, you may pay the cost if you do reveal two cards from the top of your deck. Uh, if they're grade one or less, he gets plus 5,000 for each grade one or less revealed. You add those cards to your hand. So he's pretty much, you know, you sack two, get two back to your hand. So you want to make sure you attack with a rear guard first before you kill them so you get the full use of those cards, basically. And then after um, you add the cards to your hand, you also get a triple drive. So in total, you're getting five cards guaranteed off of his effect. So it's really good. It's kind of a heavy cost to do everything, so you want to make sure you you know, keep your resources good. And I also run one Dark Knight Grim Recruiter. This guy's good for um, superior calling uh, late game if you don't have counter blasts. Same with Dark Knight. And I also run two Dark Dragon Phantom Blaster Diablo. Um, mostly running these two uh, just for filler at the moment. I do want to get one more Dark Knight and one more Grim Recruiter. So the full deck will be until set four. Four Aura Geyser, two Grim Recruiter, and two Dark Knights. It's just, you know, a different, more pure Claret Sword type of build that I enjoy. And we'll get on to the main deck. I run four Claret Sword, uh, probably the main grade three of the deck. Uh, his ability is Counter Blast One. During your turn, when your G unit stride, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for one grade one or less. Call it to rear. Shuffle your deck, and that unit gets plus 2,000 until the end of the turn. So you have many options. You can call... Uh, Swordbreaker to get that extra draw, Night Sky Eagle for a good uh, booster or attacker. You can call uh, an extra edition of your starter, which we do run, which we'll get to later. Whatever you need for the situation. And Claret Sword's other effect allows you to two kill two of your rear guards for him to get plus 10 in a crit um, until the end of the turn. So it's good late game pressure since it's just, you know, a kill two. You don't have to counter blast or anything. And I also run four, Bad Kabar. I like running this card as my backup grade three, basically because he is also rear guard pressure, which you know a lot of decks now rely on for their grade threes to have a good grade three vanguard and then also have you know a good uh, grade three rear guard just for you know for those extra plays. And he, he basically helps uh, to call additional grade ones with the cost of one counter blast if his attack hits. And for grade twos, I run four Dark Knight Maiden Maka. Uh, just a good card. Uh, when you boost with her, you can call a grade one to rear. Uh, kind of hate that it's just a grade one. If it was grade one or less, you could call a bunch of different things, uh, like uh, an additional starter if you needed for the kill effect for Aura Geyser. But the grade one still helps. You can get Swordbreaker if you need it for that draw power. You do have options with her, which is nice. And I also run four of the 10k Vanilla. I like running him for now. Just It's a good ride target, you know, so your opponent can't rush you too hard because you want to save your resources to use for your big uh, grade three uh, stride plays. Um, for now, 10k Vanilla is fine. Uh, we'll probably get some better support in uh, set four that we can use. So he'll probably be most likely the one to come out. And I also run three uh, Scornful Knight Diva. Uh, basically, the domain of the deck, you counter blast one, choose a card from your hand, discard it. When this unit is placed on rear guard to generation break a one, you may pay the cost if you draw two cards. I like that she's a 7k. You know, she can hit pretty good numbers if you have Night Sky Eagle behind her with an 11k base. So all in all, a good card just for recycling cards. And then for grade ones, I run four of the Damage on Flipper uh, Perfect Guard, Karma Collector. Um, once again, counter blast heavy deck, so that card is definitely require, required. Four of the Stride Enabler, Cherishing Knight, Branwyn. Um, she searches for Claret Sword with her uh, rear guard effect, and she can count as the whole stride. So, once again, another necessary card. And I also run three Sword Breaker. I like three just because uh, four is kind of a dead draw. You don't have too many. You don't have too much soul to rely on. Most of the soul does go towards Aura Geyser as well. So 
can't be using her too much. And I also run two Night Sky Eagles. Uh, these cards are just good when you call them from your hand or from your deck using Claret Swords and 11k booster or attacker. And for grade zeros, I run two Promising Knight David. Um, I like running one for the starter, then just having an additional one I can search for in the deck for kills. Uh, it's a generation break of one. He can be counted as two sacrifices for a card effect. So great for Aura Geyser. If he boosts a card for an attack, you can end up just killing him to get Aura Geyser's effect off so you don't minus yourself at all. It's a plus with Aura Geyser's ability. A uh, great card to use. And for triggers, I run four Grim Reaper. Four Revenger Undead Angel. Uh, four Howl Owls. This card is definitely required for this deck just because he's a put it to soul effect. Um, basically, you know, Howl Owl helps just to prepare the soul if I need it for Aura Geyser because your starter does not go back into the soul, so you can't build it up with that. So you just have to rely on your grade one and two mostly for the soul effect, which if you use, you know, Sword Breaker at all with Claret Sword, if you don't have Howl Owl or unless you ride again, you're not going to be able to get off Aura Geyser the second time around. And also for Abyss Healer as your heal. So yeah, that's it for the deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed. Do expect this deck to change down the road uh, when set 4 comes out. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And Kira, Quali out.